To draw the anatomy of the nerve roots and rami, first draw an outline of an axial cross section through the spinal cord. Then draw the spinal cord dorsal and ventral gray matter horns. Next, draw the anterior lying vertebral body and then the posterior lying vertebral arch, which comprises pedicles, laminae, and processes. First, draw the pedicles, then the transverse processes, then the laminae, and finally the spinous process. We leave out the articular processes which form facet joints between the vertebral arches. Show a ventral root emerge from an anterior horn cell. It carries motor fibers. Then show a dorsal root enter the dorsal horn. It carries sensory fibers. Now remove the adjacent pedicle. Underlying it is the intervertebral foramen. Within the intervertebral foramen, attach a dorsal root ganglion to the posterior nerve root. The dorsal root ganglion houses the cell bodies of sensory nerves. Sensory cell bodies are called pseudounipolar or bipolar because their axons pass both centrally and peripherally. Next, just distal to the intervertebral foramen, show the anterior and posterior roots joined to form a spinal nerve which then separates into dorsal and ventral rami. The dorsal rami innervate the paraspinal muscles and provide sensory coverage to the back of the head and posterior trunk, whereas the ventral rami provide motor and sensory innervation to a far more widespread group of muscles and sensory areas, including the anterior trunk and upper and lower limbs. Next, show a representative thoracic nerve originate from the anterior ramus and pass along the chest wall to form an intercostal nerve. Now turn your attention back to where the rami split to draw the sympathetic ganglion and related autonomic rami. Along the ventral ramus, attach the white ramus, so named because it is myelinated. Then more proximally, just past the takeoff of the dorsal ramus, attach the gray ramus, which is unmyelinated. Indicate that the gray and white rami meet in a paravertebral sympathetic ganglion. Sympathetic ganglia form two long chains that flank the vertebral column. The sympathetic cell bodies lie within the intermedial lateral cell column of the spinal cord and project to the paravertebral sympathetic chains. Finally, Show an impulse travel along the ventral ramus and then up the white ramus to the paravertebral sympathetic ganglion. Then show it pass back down the gray ramus to the ventral ramus. From there, the impulse disseminates either along the dorsal or ventral ramus. This concludes our drawing of the nerve roots in rami.